Hello, Solar Eclipse Timer users. This is Dr. Telepin checking back in. Before the last eclipse, I released an eclipse observing and photography YouTube video that was based on using the eclipse practice movie that is built into my app. In this video, I am going to show you what I actually did at the last eclipse and prove to you that I practice what I preach. Five, four, three, two, one. Glasses off. Glasses off. The previous YouTube Eclipse practice video helped thousands of people prepare for the eclipse. The positive feedback from the viewers was great. I am going to play a shortened version of that video, and then immediately following, I am going to play my recent Solar Eclipse Horizon video. You will see and hear me execute the observation and photography routine. In this video, I am going to show exactly what is going to happen on Eclipse Day, leading up to totality and through totality. I am going to act out what you will have to be doing. This is realistic and it is based on using the second demo program in the app, Play a Practice Eclipse Movie. This demo has a 270 second movie of my eclipse from 2006 with 120 second totality and it is synchronized to the timing functions. This is how I practice and when I give eclipse photography lectures we do this at the end of the lecture with the attendees who bring equipment. This video is about how to time the event. You will get a feeling for how fast the time will pass. This, in this video, I'm not going to give advice on a few things that you'll have to figure out for yourself based on your gear, your shutter speeds, achieving good focus, are you concerned with mirror vibration, carefully using your tripod to recenter the sun, your own judgment about how early you want to remove your solar filters. In this eclipse at the coast of Oregon, the sun angle or altitude will be 40 degrees. By the time it hits western Idaho, it's 45 degrees. By western Wyoming, it's 50 degrees. By Nebraska, 56 degrees. And by Missouri, it's 62 degrees in the sky. So you have to remember that you have to test your tripod ahead of time to make sure you can point to those uh, degrees of altitude for the sun. The other thing you want to remember to bring to the site is some form of portable table to put your um, equipment on. When you remove the solar filter, you're going to have to put it somewhere very quickly without bumping into your tripod. So have some uh, portable table um, to put your gear down. The, the demo movie in Solar Eclipse Timer starts at 90 seconds before C2. So you will have already taken all of your partial phase images and will have taken your last partial phase image at two minutes before C2 and you will change your shutter speed at this point to the shutter speed you're going to pick for Bailey's beads and the diamond ring. This will depend on your equipment. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm setting it at one two thousandth of a second. I have my right angle adapter on because this eclipse is high or you can use an articulated LCD screen if you have it. So I'm going to start the demo program. I'm going to go to settings, play a practice movie, OK. So this is 90 seconds before C2. What you're going to be doing now is looking at the sun with your solar glasses. On and off, you're going to be looking at the crescent. You're going to look at the crescent. You might want to look over your right shoulder. The shadow is going to be coming in from the west. Second contact in 60 seconds. Second contact in 60 seconds. 
the, the call was observed for shadow bands. Don't look up anymore. Have a white sheet in front of you and look for shadow bands on the ground. This will happen be 60 seconds before C2. So if you see shadow bands, concentrate on those. Those are wonderful. If you don't, look back at the crescent. All right, that was the call for 40 seconds. Look over your right shoulder. See if you see the shadow coming in. If you see shadow bands, concentrate on them. That was the 30 second call. Have your hands on your solar filter. Have your hands on your solar filter. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, pull your filter. Start taking images about a second at a time. Take them, take them, take them. Faster at 10 seconds. Take them faster at 10 seconds. This is for diamond ring. As fast as your shutter will buffer. Take them, take them, take them, take them. Okay, you're in totality now. You can look at totality with your eyes. You're not gonna be dark adapted. It gets very dark quickly. Look with your eyes, look with your eyes. Now your eyesight's gonna be getting better. Now we have to start to take our totality sequence. You're gonna start slowing your shutter speeds. Take a picture, slower your shutter speed, take a picture. Slower your shutter speed, take a picture. Keep going. Go all the way to one second. Let the camera vibration settle down before your picture. Keep going. Max eclipse in 10 seconds. All right, that was the max eclipse call in 10 seconds. We're halfway through. There's my one second exposure. Three, two, one. All right, now you have to be done with your totality photography by Max Eclipse. Enjoy, enjoy the eclipse with your eyes. That was the call for look at the horizon. You're gonna be seeing a sunset horizon all the way around you at this point. Take a picture without flash. Look at the eclipse with your binoculars. Look up with binoculars. You can look at totality with binoculars. It's safe, it's very beautiful. Remember, you have to change your shutter speed to your fast shutter speed now for what you did when you were doing Bailey's beads in the diamond ring. Third contact in 20 seconds. Third contact in 20 seconds. You have to be ready. I'm back up to my Bailey's beads shutter speed now. I look at it with my eyes one more time. You can look at it with your eyes. 10 seconds. Start taking pictures. Each second going into C3. Take it faster, as fast as your shutter speed, will, your camera will buffer. Now keep on going, it's gonna get bright. Don't stop yet. Take pictures for about five or 10 seconds. You have to use glasses with your eyes. This is for Bailey, uh, this is for the diamond ring. Put your solar filter back on. Okay, um, you, have to, you can look at the final crescent now. Look at the final crescent with your glasses. You have to wear glasses now. There's gonna be a call for shadow bands again. Observe for shadow bands. Look at the ground again. You see shadow bands before C2 and after C3. Right after C3, your eyes are gonna be not light adapted. You won't be able to see them. But look in front of you now and see if you see shadow bands on your white sheet. If you don't, look to your left. See if you see the shadow leaving. And at two minutes after C3, you'll start to take your partial phases uh, for the remainder of the eclipse to C4. And that's how you do it. Now watch the eclipse routine for real. 40 seconds. Look at him. Look at the shadow man. Look at the shadow man. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, shadow man's on. 30 seconds. Hands on your solar filter. There they are. Solar filter. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. They're going the opposite way.
Oh, there's Regulus. There's Regulus. It's to the left. It's at 11 o'clock. Look at Venus. Oh. All right, let's take it. Let's do our sequence. Look how dark it is. Let's do our sequence. All right, take it. All right, click, click. Look at it, Nicholas, while you're watching, while you're taking the pictures. Click, click, take it. Click, click, take it. Click that. We've got to make sure you do it. Click, 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 Horizon. <laughs> <laughs> right, go back up to 2000 right now. Just a dummy. Look, look at it with your eyes. Look at it with your eyes. Look at it with your eyes. It's binoculars. Look, it's binoculars. I know, the contra. It's going to be over in 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Glasses on. Glasses on. I watch it come out. Three. Look at it. Look at it. Look to the southeast. Shadowbands, Shadowbands again. Shadowbands again. Shadowbands again. They moved more. They moved all the way. Do you see it moving? Do you know why? Here, yeah, I see it. Thank you for watching this Solar Eclipse Timer episode. I hope this video helps you understand that preparation is needed for successful eclipse observation and photography. If this seemed helpful, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and also click the little bell that pops up and then you will be notified when I release new episodes about solar eclipses. Also, post comments and questions. If you don't feel like subscribing now, that's okay too. I just hope that sensing the excitement of an eclipse by watching the real thing will make you try to get to the path of totality on April 8, 2024. Witnessing a total solar eclipse is a wonderful thing. Thanks again. I appreciate your time.